welcome back. Today we're going to do calculations in Microsoft Word in a table. Now remember calculations you usually did in Excel or it's usually done in Excel. However, Word actually also has a very nice function um, specifically when you work with a table in Microsoft Word to do calculations as well. Now here for example, let me just show you, normally in Microsoft Word on the menu you have Home, Insert, Design, Layout, References, Mailings, Review and View. That's your standard menu that you have in Microsoft Word. But the moment that you create a table, say for example like this one, and you click inside the table, you then get an extra menu or an add-on, a table menu, specifically geared towards the table. On the one side of the table tool it's design where you can change the design of your table and on the other side layout this is where you can do other things like split your table or insert the text direction or even change the alignments etc but one important bit that you also do get is the formula option so this allows you to then do formulas in Microsoft Word only applicable to the table okay now I want to draw your attention now to the following calculations these are the formulas that we are going to use we're going to work out the subtotal this one and to work out the subtotal we're going to use the formula equals sum above open bracket above close bracket then we are going to use another formula which is the subtotal another subtotal but this one we're going to 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 do differently from as from this one a little bit differently and then we're going to work out the total and to work out the total we're going to take the amount that we that we worked out for the sub for the first subtotal and we're going to plus it with the amount that we worked out for the second subtotal that will allow us then to work out the VAT. We will need the final total and we have to multiply that with 15%. And that will then give us the final amount due where we took the total and the VAT that we worked out and added those, those, um, added those two together. Alright, let's jump in. First of all, I'm going to put my cursor in the cell where I uh, that I'm going to use in this case it's a subtotal and I want to work out the subtotal of all these amounts so it's 450 plus 300 plus 45 plus 22 and I said the formula that we're going to use is equals sum above now remember the same concept like in Excel you cannot do a formula if you do not start with the equals sign we are not going to type it in here we just need to click in other words we need to activate the cell so that we can get the table tool menu so that we can click on layout so that we can click on formula only once we click on formula we will get the formula dialog box and as you can see the equal sign is already there waiting for us and all that we now need to do is we need to type in the um, sum open bracket and type in the word above and then we close the bracket so what it now going to do is it's going to calculate everything that is above the cell the number format we also have to change and we have to change it to 0 rand and 0 cents. If this was a percentage, obviously we would have changed it to percentage, etc, etc. But in this case we're going to use 0 rand and 0 cents, that's our format. In other words, our currency format. And that is all, we're just going to focus on these two things. There are other calculations that you would also be able to do, but we will explore these ones much later now we're not going to do anything we're not going to use any uh, we're not going to use a based function 
So once you have typed in your formula and you've typed in your format, you can click on OK. And there's your answer, 817. But that was one method of working out the 817. There is two other methods that you would or could also have used. You could have simply have just calculated 450 plus 300 plus 45 plus 22. It's a longer method but it would also have worked. For example, put my cursor in the cell, click on formula equals 450 plus 300 plus 45 plus 22. Don't forget your formatting and click OK. Same answer. Again, third method. Remember, in Excel we have columns and we work with rows. But even so, this is a table, it also has columns and it has rows. So how many columns does this table have? It has two columns. There's one and there's the other one. And how many rows does this have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen rows. Alright, and then we can name them like in Excel. This would become column A, for example, and this is column B. And that would mean that this row, the first one, is row one. So that means that this is row 2, row 3, row 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 14. Okay, so we have, so this cell would be B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is B7. Alright, so if this is B7, it means that this is B6, B5, B4 and B3. So you could have just said B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus B6 would then also give you an answer. Let's test it. B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus is it B, yeah, B6? Alright. Let's see if it works. It gives me an answer. There we go. So that's another option or way that you could have used it. The easiest and the most, um, sh the, the quickest way is to just click on formula and type in equal sum, open bracket, above, close bracket, and change your format, click OK. OK. Now the subtotal, remember we can't use equal sum above here. The reason why, if we only want to work out 80 plus 6, which would give us 86. So if we should use equal sum above, we're going to run into a problem. Let me show you. We're going to run in with that problem. 80 plus 6 does not give you 903. The reason why it's giving us 903 is because it's calculating everything that's above. And we only want 80 plus 6, don't we? So, easy way to solve this problem is to just use 80 and 6. So, click on formula. And instead of using equal sum above, you physically can just type in there 80 plus 6. And remember our format and there's our answer what else could you have used if this is b7 it means that this is b8 so this is b9 and this is b10 so b9 plus b10 would have also given us an answer let's see b9 plus b10 and if you change the format, there, same thing. Now we're going to use 817 plus 86, 
will give us an, a total. So it is, put our cursor into that cell, we click on formula, and the easy way would be to just use 817 plus 86, remember our format, and click OK. Remember this was B, was this B7, and this was B11. So B7 plus B11 would have given us 903 as well. Let's test it. B7 plus B11. Same answer. Awesomeness. No, no, no. Something, something. No, no, no. Is it 903? Let me just double check. So it is eight one seven plus eighty six nine oh three. I was correct. Awesome. Now we're going to work out the VAT. To work out the VAT, we have to take the nine oh three and we have to multiply it with fifteen percent which is pretty simple. We click on formula, and then take out the equal sum part, and replace it with 903, multiply 15. And we have to type in the actual symbol percent. Change the format, and click OK. So, 15% of 903 is 135 rand 45 cents. Okay. Another option, another way that we could have worked that out as well. What is this cell? Let's find out. So this is four, this is B14, B13, B12. So, formula B12 multiply by 15. Percent. Don't forget the percentage symbol. And don't forget your format. Click OK. There we go. Same answer. Now, the amount due. The amount due is worked out by using the total plus the VAT. So it's this 903 plus that 13545. Those two should give us the amount due. Formula. So... We could have physically just type in there 903 plus 135 comma 45. Sometimes there's a problem with a comma or a full stop. Let's see what happens. Ah, still gave us an answer. So, that's one method that you could have used. Another method is to... If this is 14, this is 13, and that is 12. So you could have just said B12 plus B13. Same answer. Ah, so now it's your turn to practice.